Hello my friends, Miss Brooke here. I hope you're doing well and having a great week. You know how I love to stay busy. I've been riding my bike a lot. You know I'm reading my books. This week I am reading this book called Dominicana by Angie Cruz and it's about a 15 year old girl from the Dominican Republic who moves to New York to start a new life for herself and that comes with all kinds of adventures and challenges and it's really, really good so far. I'm only about 20 or 30 pages in, but I'm working through it. Um, so far, I love the writing. It's very bright and colorful and lyrical, kind of like the book cover. So they say you can't judge a book by its cover, but maybe you can, but you shouldn't. I also found this awesome book online this week. I have been canoeing a lot uh, with my roommates and found this book online called Canoeing Louisiana and it's all about the cool places you can go uh, boating, paddling, and kayaking all around our state and it's really awesome. There's so many bayous and creeks and marshes and amazing um, freshwater areas to explore. You know Louisiana is mostly made of water even where there's land it's kind of soggy so there's a lot to be seen and done. You know what else I did this week that felt so good? I cleaned my room. I cleaned my room so good. I found so many crazy things, but most of all, let me show you. I wanna show you what I'm so proud of. Look at my hat wall. Who has that many hats, you guys? I love hats, I'm so excited. So that was kind of a project in itself. I, uh, I took a bunch of thumbtacks, I put them up on the wall, and look, I even have a visor section. How cool is that? Wow, do you guys have any collections of things like that? I just love hats. They're functional, they're fashionable, they protect your face, they do so many cool things, and they look great. Like we were talking about, you know, using your resources and what you have and your imagination and making it fun, you can even make a cleaning project fun. I have that whole beautiful hat wall now just because I spend some time uh, in my room, you know, and I feel like a brand new person now. I feel so happy with my organized happy hat wall and my clean floor. And maybe you don't have anything to clean at your house, but I bet you could ask someone at your house and they would find something for you to clean. And that would be so helpful and cool. And then you could feel really good about yourself afterward. Let's see, anything else? Uh, I've been making a lot of playlists for my friends on Spotify and sharing music. That's a cool thing you can do. Um, I made a few more postcards like we did last week and sent some messages and letters to my friends. Uh, haven't heard back yet, so maybe they made it. Maybe they haven't. Um, oh, tonight I am doing a mystery dinner theater with my friends on Zoom. We got this funny package, uh, and basically it's like a game you play where everyone plays a character, and there's a crime, and you have to solve it together. And normally you would sit down and eat dinner together, and it's the main mystery dinner theater, but we're doing it via Zoom. And the premise of the game is that we're at an Italian restaurant and something bad happens. So my character's name is going to be Rocco Scarfazzi, and I am a mafia man, and I'm really excited. I think it's going to be super fun. Um, I'll let you know how it turns out next week. So that's just a reminder that the internet, uh, although it's a great place to lose yourself for a few hours and forget where the time went, um, you can also do really constructive things with your friends. Maybe you can do things that you would normally like to do together, but digitally, you know, FaceTime and paint something or draw something or sing songs together or play games together like we are. Um, there's a lot you can do. You just have to use your imagination and get a little more creative right now. I know you have it in you. Speaking of creativity and imagination, I think we will start our project now. Um, you know me, I love to do projects with things we find around the house and things we can recycle and make use of instead of trashing them because we like to be good stewards of our resources. You know the phrase by now. This week we will be making recycled plastic bottle flowers. So what you need is a plastic bottle. I'm using this big Rouse's bottle of water. Um, you could use a regular small soda bottle or water bottle. You could use a big liter bottle. It depends on how big you want your flowers to be. And um, we're just gonna make one today, but you could make a bunch, you can make a whole. 
it's okay. You know, you got Mother's Day coming up, maybe someone else in your family, uh, your sister, your auntie, your cousin, or yourself. Just make some for yourself. Put it around your room. Uh, so we have this plastic bottle. We are going to need some paint. Acrylic paint works best. Um, that's what's going to stick on there, but get creative with what you have. Uh, if you don't, a paintbrush. Um, if you want to make some leaves for your flower, you don't have to, but you could use some thin cardboard. I'm going to use this oatmeal box, and I'm going to color it with crayons. And then we will need our handy dandy scissors. Only use if you are, let's say, like third or fourth grader above. Um, if you are in kindergarten, first or second, you're going to get some help with these because we got to poke a hole in this bad boy, and that's going to get tricky. So uh, make sure you have a clean working space and all your materials so you can gather those and take a second, and then we'll start. So to begin, we're going to take our bottle. We're going to get any paper or junk on the outside that we have and take it off. Um, if your bottle was filled with soda or something else that was sticky, then you may want to wash that out and dry it. Mine's pretty clean except for a little bit of wire that was in it. Uh, and what you're going to do is you are going to go about a third or a half of the way down on the bottle, depending on how long you want your flower petals to be, and you're going to poke a hole. Remember, if you're a littler dude, uh, you are going to want to get some help on this because I don't want you to cut yourself. That would be a massive bummer. Um, so we're going to go, I'm going to say right here. I'm going to poke a hole in your bottle. Woo. So for our next step, we are going to cut around using the hole we just made. So be very careful with your scissors. You can go ahead. Ooh, all the way around. This is the side we want, this is the side we can get rid of. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut our petals. So we are going to cut, figure out about how many petals you want. I'm going to say probably about six for me. Um, and you want to cut them about equal if you can, keep them a little symmetrical. And you're going to cut all the way down. There we go. And about the length of my big finger. I'm going to use my finger to measure. Cut another petal on, almost all the way down to the tip. It's okay if it's not perfect. Flowers in real life vary as well with their petals. And okay, and then one more maybe. Okay, so I've got the petals. Look at it. It's kind of like a flower, right? Not really. Um, so now what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that your cuts go all the way back. And then we are going to bend them. So you take it. There we go. Bend, bend, bend. See how I'm pulling it away? I'm basically asking it to go in the opposite direction that it already is. So it can be a little tricky. And be careful because although plastic doesn't seem sharp, it kind of is. Bend them all back. Right, two more. Sounds kind of crazy, huh? Look at that. There's our flower. Pretty nice, right? Yeah, I kind of like the square shape, but um, it'll probably be safer if we round the edges and you can make it more petal-like. So now you'll take every petal and you're just going to like trim the edges, sort of, and make it into the shape you want your petals to be. So for me, I'm just going to kind of round it out, I think. Yeah, that's a pretty nice shape, right? Good and petal-y. 
You can make them as thin or as round or however you like because this is your flower. It's your world, baby. Make it however you want. This little guy. Woo. Make sure when you're done that you pick up any of these plastic pieces. Hopefully you're doing it over a table or a nice surface. Uh, you don't want anyone to step on these or have to clean up later. pretty good right flowery so now it's time to paint our flower I've got my little piece of cardboard palette um, you want to lay paper down on wherever you're working because we don't want to make a mess or ruin anything now we're just gonna paint <laughs> set that aside in a nice dry place where it can't drip all over anything um, and we're gonna work on the next part okay while that's drying we're gonna work on our inside and our leaves I'm gonna make the inside of my flower yellow so I'm gonna color some yellow here it out. Go to yellow. And then I'm going to draw some leaves. So I'm just going to do a round leaf shape. Okay. I'm going to teardrop it. I'm going to color them green. Now we're going to cut our little center stems. 
we're gonna cut it nice, tiny little strips all the way across. There we go. We have our inner stems and we have the flower. You'll notice I added a little jazz to it outside. Uh, I found some spray paint when I was putting it in the sun to dry. So we're going to take our little colorful inner part and we're going to put it inside like this so that the color faces inwards. What you can do is you can, it'll just hold itself in there, but if you want a little tape, or a little bit of glue on the inside just to make sure it holds. I'm gonna put a little on the outside rim here just so that's a little bit fortified. And you spin it like that so that it fits inside the bottle cap. There we go. Oh wow, that looks great. Look at that. And then I'm just gonna bend these outward a little bit. There he is. There's an old flower. Pretty cute, huh? Now, what you can do is depending on what you want to do with the back, you could just stick these anywhere on your wall or on your fridge, whatever you want to do. Um, but if you wanted to make them like actual flowers, you could get some pipe cleaner or some hanger wire and twist the stem out of the back, and then you can glue these little leaves on there, just like that. So there it is, you guys. That is your recycled bottle flower. You can make a whole menagerie of them. You can make as many uh, as bottles you can find and make yourself a little bouquet or put them on a wall. Or you could take some string on the back and tie it around or some pipe cleaner and fasten the bottle top back on. And you could make a hanging wreath. There's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. Your imagination is the limit, but you already know that. Um, yeah, pretty nice, huh? I hope you guys enjoyed. I will have something cool for you to do next week. We'll check in again. I can't wait to hear what kind of books you're reading, what music you're listening to, and how you're passing the time. I hope you're washing your hands. I hope you're wearing your masks. And I hope you're being kind uh, to everybody around you. Don't forget to be thoughtful and creative. Make the best with what you got. And be a good steward of your resources. Love you guys. See you next week. Bye.